That is all praises to the Most High, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, in the ancient Hebrew. Double honors to the apostles and elders, that great Most Son that wrote well, and Shalom and blessings to the hopeful elect. I wanted to go into the subtlety aspect of the Most High's judgment. Suddenty is the tense, one of the tenses of the word sudden. It's the state of being sudden, okay? The state of something coming upon you unexpectedly, but especially in regards to an attack, all right? A sudden, suddenty is a sudden or unexpected occurrence, especially an attack, and nothing can be deemed more of an attack than judgment destruction from the most high all right the different ways that he comes to jack up his fucking creation man mankind you know a land or um another part of his creation some fucking trees and bushes might get swallowed up in these different forms of destruction but the main recipient is his creation mankind Okay, and when exploring that, it's, um, we see that the Most High, he comes upon one, a recipient of his judgment, suddenly, all right? We see this account, um, this aspect of that judgment in these scriptures all throughout, all right? <clears throat> and especially for these larger scale judgments, all right? When the numbers are in mass, and this was going to be no more of a reality for the masses of these fucking people in the time of the end, all right? We're going to start off with the, the grand deluge, okay? The flood that the Most High destroyed this fucking place with going back in the ancient day. Matthew 24 and 38, it says, For as in the days that were before the flood... They were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. Okay. So going into that ultimate destruction that the most high bombed on this fucking place with because... It wasn't just some some damn raindrops, okay? It was a tsunami, uh, like catastrophic uh, 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 water pressure, all right? That would cause this place to fucking separate a, a massive landmass, man. Okay, that had to be a violent act, and just in that fucking time. This place is going to reel to and fro like a fucking drunkard. The whole land is going to feel the effect of this final destruction the Most High is coming with. Okay? But to the topic, the people didn't know until it came. Even though Noah was telling them, okay, there's an angel blocking them from fucking understanding what's going on. And that way, the destruction comes with more of a destructive force. Okay, and, um, uncertainty, um, perplexity, um, basically not knowing what the fuck is coming before it comes, it makes the sting a lot worse, all right? It takes the sting off when you know, when you can brace for an attack, okay? But such will not be the case. In the time of the destruction, when these people is going to take these fucking people by storm. That's how the Most High gets down, man. He's going to blind them from even uh, fathoming what the fuck is going on, man. And that um, to to get right with their power, to humble the fuck down. Because that's the, the first thing, the bare minimum that you would do when considering what's coming upon the earth. All right. This place is about to get fucking bathed and soaked in nuclear fire. All right. A fire not blown. An extremely destructive uh, um, type of, of uh, judgment. The 
that the people are going to fucking taste and feel firsthand, man. Okay? <clears throat> that ionizing radiation that has you completely fucking through, man. Some pain that you haven't fathomed. All right? And that's a motherfucker who's not in the blast radius. Motherfucker in the blast radius is going to get peeled apart. Okay? Not to mention the coming of the son of man, man. All right? The invasion of this fucking place. All right? The people, just just as we're, we're telling them, and the scriptures told them, all right? But it was in mystery form in the scriptures. So let's, let's clarify that. We were making it plain upon tables. We were breaking it all the way the fuck down, all right? Like Apostle Tahar goes into, the secrets were revealed into the servants, the prophets, and then we publicized it and declared it to the people. But the people have a fucking block on them, man. This is a uh, strategic plan from the Most High. This is how he gets down, man. To have a motherfucker unexpected. This is the suddenty aspect of the Most High's judgment, man. To when that shit comes upon them suddenly. And no more time in the time we're coming in. This is in Isaiah 6 and 9. It says, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, and but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. So, somebody, if you fucking had your head on straight, but we'll just continue on with the rhetoric. Somebody is telling somebody to make the people not understand okay make them not understand so that they don't be converted and they don't be healed this is a this is a fucked up evil thing right is what the people say is there unrighteousness with the heavenly father you piece of shit no this is the plan this is how the most high gets down and you people are gonna find out it's gonna just snap into you it's going to snap in your mind when that destruction comes. Like, oh, fuck. This is, this is what we were fucking with. This is what we were scoffing and scorning. Okay? No, the Most High has an entity out there to blind the fucking people, to make their eyes blind and their ears deaf so that they cannot understand, so that they're not converted and they're not healed. Okay? Because then what happens after that? get fucking destroyed and that's what's going to come upon it he says he said then said i how long so pretty much how long are you going to keep them blinded he said it says and he answered until the cities be wasted without inhabitant and houses without man and the land be utterly desolate so that's when he's going to wake them up when it's too fucking late all right this is the suddenty aspect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's destruction. Okay? It's the state of something coming upon one unexpectedly. Okay? Especially of an attack. Okay? So he kept them blinded, not knowing what the fuck is going on until he destroyed them. This is in. Uh, Isaiah 47 and 11 and this is the fate of Esau Edom and so uh, as the people are, as the ruler is so are the fucking people they have completely assimilated onto this goddamn devil just like that Gentile state of mind all right to be a fucking alien wealth a uh, uh, slacky yeah, alien wealth an alien from the commonwealth of Israel to be a fucking alien to be alienated okay to be um to be not even an israelite anymore to be a fucking gentile right to be completely hellenized taking on the ways of the fucking heathen and the worst heathen of all esau edom and that going back to that time these niggas were wearing fucking skirts and dresses togas it's the same fucking shit you know they're probably um 
not Esau and Edom's are fucking natural mo, so they are probably doing mo shit. It, it was already broken down and revealed how the um, the Olympics games was a was a fucking uh, a sodomite fest. All right, the wrestling was you know um, not to pin a nigga on the mat was to to um, you know to 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 put your thumb in in certain places. Okay, and then and then in their um, they're pretty much their training facilities. I forgot the name of it. Their Greek training facilities, sodomy was fucking rampant. Okay, and the and all sodomy is the worst, but the worst of the worst. Fucking um, uh, homo, mo 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 shit, bro. Okay, that hetero was just for procreation. <laughs> going into um, Ishmael and, and Esau, that's how the fuck they get down, right? A woman for, for procreation and a boy, a man for fucking pleasure, man. This is, these are these fucking freaks. This is Esau, Edom, that our people have completely assimilated to, man. All right? So just as that, um, so are the people, man. So are uh, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, and all these fucking people are just, they're, they're Edomites, man. They're likened them to Edomites. They are, they're, they are of their father, the devil, okay? Isaiah 47 and 11, Therefore shall evil come upon thee, thou shalt not know from whence it rises. And this is the case for Esau, Edom. But look. The, these motherfuckers who are joined in hand with this cocksucker are gonna catch this judgment too, okay? <clears throat> the, um, they that are found with this fucker are gonna get uh, destroyed as well. Thou shalt not know from whence it rises. There it is. The su- uh, the suddenty, or as these other faggots pronounce it, suddenty aspect of the Most High's judgment. The evil, the bad times are going to fucking befall the Esau, Edom, and, and all of his fucking constituents, all of his subjects, them that have fucking um, uh, uh, willfully um, been under his uh, authority, okay? That, um, no, 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 these motherfuckers have declared allegiance to this devil, all right? So they're going to catch the same fate. It says, and mischief shall fall upon thee. Thou shall not be able to put it off. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. This is how the Most High gets down, man. And no different than in this time at the end. That's why it... it, it um makes it a point throughout these scriptures and heavily throughout the time of the end to express it as a thief in the night that's that's sudden man. okay it's Thessalonians 1st Thessalonians 5 and 3 it says for when they say for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them so when you least fucking expect it, okay, sudden destruction as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And through the spirit, let me just go ahead and grab it. I think it's pretty generic, but let me grab the Isaiah 47 11 breakdown for that suddenly, as well as this first Thessalonians 5 and 2. Where's that 3? This word suddenly <clears throat> in the blue letter, Strong's H fifty uh sixty five ninety seven. Okay. Pa pa atam pa atam. Okay. Suddenly, surprisingly, so it's gonna fucking pop up on you. It's gonna be a surprise, a shocker. Instantly, straight away, suddenly, okay, in a moment. So it's going to be fucking quick, too, swift. It's going to swoop up on you, huh? 
um, the most highest recipients of judgment is those that have been um, that are deemed unworthy in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And ultimately, it's even above that. It's according to the ones that are allotted to be destroyed. Okay, the Most High has his allotments already pre um, preordained, pre divvied up. He says, uh, But ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Get that first Thessalonians. Five and tray that word suddenly in the Greek or sudden slakia. I I need uh, needios. I needios. Songs G one sixty. I needios. I needios. Unexpected. Suddenly unforeseen that's pretty straightforward unexpected okay unawares all right what does it say that they, they shall not take you unawares okay so for us it's not sudden but we know wisdom and knowledge is just going to be the stability of the times of the ones that are allotted for salvation man you are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Okay. Let's jump down. Con. That was the point in four. Okay, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. That's only for a small remnant. Okay, the masses it says is likened unto a drop to a wave, the amount that are going to be saved in comparison and ratio to them that are going to be fucking destroyed, man. Okay, so by proxy, that would mean that. For the masses, it's going to take them as a fucking thief. Okay? Let's go ahead and grab that through the spirit. Five and four in the translation comparison. Bible comparison. Salakia. It says... Um, well, it just says thief. Like a thief. Let's just go ahead and grab that in the blue letter. That's straight. Yeah. Because a thief um, would have just said a pilfer, a fucking robber, someone who steals. And w when do they come and, and rob your shit? Okay. Especially a burglar. When do they come and, and uh, they case your shit and they take you when you least fucking expect it, whether you're there or not there? Okay. And that's the that's the analogy. That's when this judgment is going to come is when the people least fucking expect it through the spirit. Already off top that they don't expect this judgment. OK. Let's finish it off back in here. Matthew 24 and 39 and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. OK. That's sudden. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So this invasion, this chariot invasion, the innumerable clouds that the Most High's, the Most High's Son is sending His Son with, okay, and thermonuclear fire, the the fervent heat that this place has a fucking date with. All right, it's gonna take the people unexpectedly suddenly okay so with that all praise and honor and glory to the heavenly father Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shai Bar Shem Rukha Kadash Shalom